Hi everybody, welcome to Veteran Ambassador. Today we're going to be talking about spinner baits and everything you need to know. So the first thing uh, when you talk about spinner baits, you know, it's more of a it's, it's a moving bait for reaction bites. Now it comes in uh, two different styles. You have the the double Colorado blade and what that is with the double Colorado blade, it gets out a little bit more thump, um, a little bit more vibration. You can fish this slow, um, really creep it as you're going uh, uh, through your water uh, up shallow, and it displaces more water to call in the fish. Now, the other style is the double willow blade now there is one more style that I'm going to get into um, but we're going to go over the main two styles right now now the double willow blade is one that puts out a whole lot more flash you are able to burn this bait back to the boat to try to get more of a reaction bite it goes through the grass uh, a whole lot more easier um, than the uh, the uh, double Colorado blade, I cannot talk right now. And it, it, it gives out a whole lot more of a flash because it has more of a surface for it. And you would want to typically more use this bait in lightly stained to more clear water. As opposed to the double Colorado blade where you want to use that in more stained water. Uh, looking like chocolate milk Yoohoo. Then there is the combination of the two where you have the Colorado blade attached with a willow blade. Now with that it gives you the best of both worlds. And it the Colorado blade does put out that thump that draws in the fish and the uh, willow leaf gives it that flash that the fish can see. Now, you can use this in either or, but I prefer, if the blade is silver, I prefer to use it in more of a clear water. Now, if the blade is gold, I like to use that in more of stained water because it, it does show up kind of like a, a chartreuse color in the stained water whereas the silver color is a more natural looking color so I use that on in mostly clear water now color selection like I said before most of the time if the water is clear you really want to go with your shad brim color uh, type setup if your water is more stained and dirty, looking like chocolate milk or Yoohoo, you want to go with your more bolder colors, you know, your chartreuses with a little bit of orange, your whites, something that stands out. And that's, that's pretty much the way that I go. Now, trailers. With... A spinner bait, you normally really don't need a trailer. You normally don't need a trailer for a spinner bait. Now, there are some instances where I will use a trailer. And those instances are if I'm trying to slow roll that bait up shallow, the trailer will bulk it up and give it a little bit more buoyancy so that it doesn't drop and to get hung up in the grass, the rocks, and so forth, so on. Um, trailer, uh, Parison, I like to get something that's a little bit more natural. Something of the uh, ghost, like a shad, uh, even a uh, sparkly brim color. I like to pair those up pretty much with my spinner bait. Now, when you're putting on your 
trailers you want to put them let me take this off got that keeper on there you want to put them phone's going off okay you want to put them upside down where that boot tail is facing down so normally with a Texas rig you would find and it's marked on a lot of these uh, trailers and swim baits the little gap there you want to find that normally on Texas rig and you want to thread that towards the hook right like so well with the spinner bait the sparkly box um, part on the back get this even you want to thread it upside down and you want to thread that upside down so that the boot tail is facing up and what that does is it gives that boot tail a little bit more of a kick but now this is on a totally different subject but I'm going to give you a little bit of a trailer trick that boot tail to me sometimes it does need a wide kick it gives it a real wide kick well sometimes the fish don't want it that way so what you can do is, I don't have my scissors with me, but you want to take and cut this boot tail flush with this paddle. You want to cut it flush with this paddle. And what that does, it gives it more of a tight kick. It gives it more of a tight kick. Fish love it. Now, let me get that back right. Let's talk trailer hooks. Again, with spinner baits, you typically don't really need a trailer hook. And as a matter of fact, I don't use them. Not unless I'm in open water and the fish are, are short striking my bait. Now, once that happens, I will... I don't have... That's in, my other that's in my other box, so I'm not going to worry about it. But once that happens, I will add a trailer hook on the end. Even with pairing it with the, with the trailer. And all you really do is just slide the trailer hook on. And what that does is, even if they are short striking your bait, they will catch that trailer hook and you'll be able to set the hook and get them in. Now... As far as weight go, I like to go with a half ounce, three quarter ounce weight, and pretty much fish it mostly up shallow. Now there are times where I will go a little bit deeper um, with my spinner bait. That would be, again, most situations in the fall, you probably could get you a good reaction strike out of it. But anyway, Guys, I hope this helps you uh, out there fishing. Don't forget to subscribe and like and, <laughs> and, and hit the notification button if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will be posting stuff up there. And hey, spinner baits are pretty much fun. They just do flat out catch fish. May God bless you. I hope to see you out there. Thanks for watching.